11-year-old Jeremy was ready and eager to seize it. In preparing for a fishing trip to Canada with his father and some of his father's friends, he insisted on buying a heavy-duty rod and reel so could catch a big fish. Not wanting to dampen the boy's great enthusiasm and knowing he could use the equipment for a deep-sea excursion he was planning, the father bought the equipment. When the other men saw Jeremy's new fishing equipment, they all joked with him. One of them asked. You planning on catching a whale, Jeremy? He said confidently. I'm gonna get me a big pike. Another said, laughing. Well, you could sure get a big pike with that rig. Jeremy was undaunted by the men's lack of confidence in him. For days on the lake produced little for the men and the boy, and Jeremy's fishing rig became the butt of many a friendly joke. Then, suddenly one of the men shouted. I have something. His pole lurched and strained. A moment later the pole quickly straightened and the line went limp. The line had broken. The disappointed man muttered that he should have come prepared with heavier equipment. As the fishing party was about to return to the cabin, after another day on the lake, Jeremy's line suddenly tightened. At first he thought he had hooked a log beneath the surface of the water. But then the line began to move with a force that almost frightened him. He had hooked his big fish. Forty-five minutes later he hauled his pike in the boat a thirty-two-pounder. The men were flabbergasted, envious, and respectful, because Jeremy taught them that if you want to catch a big fish, then you had better come prepared. This story is quoted from John Templeton's book, Discovering the Loss of Life. Often people live in the hope that success would favor them, but thinking that if by chance something big comes along, they'll grab it. But we must not forget that if we are not prepared for success, it may be difficult to seize the opportunity that comes to us.